I've been playing around with all these calculations, but they're a hassle on the shop floor. What can I do? Over the years, I've spent a lot of time on the shop floor, and I've done a lot of calculations for coolant pressures, flow rates, velocities, pump powers, dressing leads, dressing overlap ratios, rotary diamond dressing, plunge speeds, and dwell times, and traverse rates, and cylindrical grinding overlap ratios, and you're right, they're a hassle to do on the shop floor. And I found myself doing the same calculations over and over again. So what I did was I developed the grinder's toolbox. And over the years, I've kept adding to it and adding to it. And this is the grinder's toolbox. Let's take a look at how it works and how you can use it on the shop floor. Several years ago, I was spending a lot of time on grinders. And I found myself doing a lot of calculations of pressures, velocities, flow rates, pump power, dressing leads, um, you know, grinding conditions, chip thickness values, a lot of things, and I got a little tired of making the same calculations over and over again, um, and it got a little messy on the shop floor trying to make calculations on my laptop or on a calculator. So I developed the grinder's toolbox, and over the years I've just kept adding to it, and it's evolved and so now I use it very frequently um, and I have sheets for cooling I have sheets for all different types of dressing parameters I have sheets for all different types of grinding situations and also for uh, conditioning of super abrasive wheels uh, so what you see here is we have cooling we have grinding, surface and creep feed grinding we have OD, ID plunge grinding OD, ID, ID traverse grinding, uh, plunge dressing, like with a plunge roll, uh, traverse de dressing, like if you have a, a diamond disc traversing across the wheel, single point dressing with a single point diamond, a blade, or a cluster, uh, and super abrasive wheel sticking. Um, so in the situation we talked about before, we had a plunge roll dressing with a wheel diameter of 350 millimeters uh, going at 50 meters per second, a plunge speed of 0.4 millimeters a minute, a dwell time of 4 seconds, a roll diameter of 4 inches, and a wheel speed uh, or a diamond roll speed of 6,000 RPM. And are those parameters any good? I have no idea just by looking at it. Uh, they might be fine, they might not. So this is the perfect example of when I get a bunch of parameters and the machine operator says, hey, what do you think of these parameters? And I say, I have no idea, but let's, pl let's uh, punch them into the grinder's toolbox and let's see what happens. So in the grinder's toolbox, we're going to go to plunge dressing and we're going to type in the values that we had. So we had a wheel diameter of 350 millimeters. Got millimeters or inches, we go with millimeters. Uh, the wheel surface speed was 50 meters per second. We can also do it as RPM if we want, depending on what we know. The dresser surface speed, now we don't know the dresser surface speed, but we do know the dresser RPM, 6,000. And we know we have a 4 inch dresser diameter. And the dresser plunge speed is 0.4 millimeters a minute and we are dwelling for four seconds. The wheel dresser direction, we're going unidirectionally. We have a vitrified bonded wheel and we're using an aluminum oxide wheel. So we do that and we get the calculations down here and it says we have a plunge depth of 0.15 microns per revolution. Now you can go to the chart uh, in my course material and you can see that that's actually uh, a very small depth, meaning that it's a very timid dress, uh, which will give us a dull wheel. We have a velocity ratio of plus 0 0.64 in the unidirectional mode, and we have 182 wheel revolutions. Now, you can go back to the reference material and see if those values are reasonable, or what I've done is I've developed the Grinding Viking. And the Grinding Viking tells you um, whether your parameters are reasonable or not. Now, in plunge roll dressing, there are basically three parameters we're looking for. 
Uh, the first one is plunge depth, or every revolution of the wheel, how far did that dresser plunge into the wheel, or vice versa. So in this case, it's 0.15 microns per revolution. So let's see what the Viking says. He says, a plunge depth of 0.15 microns per wheel revolution, pathetic. Not only are you dressing like an old lady, you're taking all day to do it. Stop wasting my time. So the Viking obviously doesn't like your plunge depth. If we look at the velocity ratio, the Viking says, a velocity, ra velocity ratio of 0 0.64. Not bad, you're creating a reasonably sharp wheel. You're not as dumb as I thought. Okay. And then if we look at dwell revolutions, the Viking says, dwelling 182 revolutions. Not only are you making your wheel dull, you're wasting my time. Come on, Joe, even you shouldn't screw up this badly. Okay, so it looks uh, like our dressing parameters have some problems. So if we go back to the plunge depth, we need to increase our plunge speed. Right now we're at only 0.5, so if we went for, let's say, 0.8, the Viking says a plunge depth of 0.29 microns per wheel rev, very wimpy. Unless you're finished dre dressing, you should hang your head in shame. So let's crank that up even more. 1.2 microns. A plunge depth of 0.44 microns per wheel revolution, a bit on the wimpy side. Uh, unless you're doing some kind of finished dressing, for finished grinding, you're dressing like a girl. Dress like a man. So we'll crank that up even more. 1.6. A plunge depth of 0.59 microns per revolution. A moderately aggressive dress. I'd like to see you go a bit faster, but I ain't complaining. Well, we want the Viking to be happy, so let's put in 2. We get the same response. Let's try 2.4. Ah! A plunge depth of 0.88 microns per wheel revolution. Well done, my boy. That's a nice, aggressive dress giving you a sharp wheel. The grinding Viking is proud of you. So it looks like the Viking is happy in terms of plunge depth. Now, in terms of velocity ratio, now the Viking's still happy, so we're good there. Now, dwell revolutions. 182 revolutions the Viking didn't like. We were dwe dwelling way too long. Let's drop that down to two seconds. Dwelling 91 revolutions. Take it easy, man. There's no reason to dwell that long. You're just making your wheel dull. So we'll try one second. Dwelling 45.5 revolutions. Reasonable, but a bit on the high side. Cut those revolutions in half. Okay, well, cut it in half to 0.5 seconds. Dwelling 22.7 revolutions. Perfect. Just enough rev to true up the wheel, but not too many to dull it. Well done. You're not as dumb as I thought. So, now we've got a set of dressing parameters that look good. They're giving us a reasonably sharp wheel, or the Viking seems to be happy. So, I find this very useful for playing around with all different parameters, especially because if you change your wheel speed or your roll speed, well, then all of a sudden you've changed your depth per, per uh, your dressing depth per rev. Um, so you change one parameter, you change them all. So this is a very quick and easy way to determine good dressing parameters. And we've got the same for traverse dress. And we've got the same for single point dress. And we have the same for grinding parameters and cooling parameters. So that's the Grinders Toolbox. Uh, I use it very frequently. Uh, it is available from my webpage for a very modest price. And once you get the hang of it, you'll find that uh, you can go into any grinding operation, get all the parameters, type them in, boom, and see where you are and if your parameters are reasonable.